After I had gotten into college, I realized that barriers exist in both accessing college and being retained once I got there. Applying to college was a daunting process, and once I got into college, I failed my first semester and landed on academic probation. I had a 1.65 GPA, and all the school communicated to me was that I would be getting dismissed if I didn't change that. That was my lowest point in college, and I didn't even understand why I got there. All I saw when I looked at myself in the mirror was a failure. It was when I joined Bridges that I was able to understand the disadvantages I was facing. Jose Rizal once said, no history, no self. No history, no self. Bridges helped me understand that knowing history comes from understanding the identities you carry and struggles that your communities have faced. You may come from a low-income background, meaning you'd know what it's like for your family to be financially unstable and not have accessibility to resources. You may be a first-generation college student, meaning you didn't have someone in your family to guide you through the college process. And understanding what it means to be an underrepresented student of color who didn't see many people that look like yourself or people in your neighborhood going to college. To be first generation, low income, and a student of color means quite a few things. It means that we have to work harder to get to the place that we want to be. We weren't given, we weren't dealt the cards that other people have had that the resources, the privilege to be where they are today. Well, it often feels like you have to go through all these processes on your own and navigate it on your own, whether it be your uh, academic or professional career. I can't call my parents and say, hey, having trouble with this class or what class should I take next? Because they don't really understand um, how the university system works. Being an underrepresented student of color in higher ed can get lonesome, especially in classes where the demographic doesn't match your background. When I walk into a classroom, there's a very low percentage of people who come from a similar background as me, similar culture as me, and so it makes it very much possible to be fe feeling like you're an other. But it also means that you will oftentimes find yourself in places where no one looks like you, or facing challenges that many of your other peers don't face. I am an enrolled member of the three affiliated tribes of North Dakota, and I am Washoe from Woodford, California, and Paiute from Shores, Nevada. I thought as an incoming student that I wouldn't have a place here. I was raised for the first part of my life on a reservation, and I knew that their family, cultural values, and modes of knowledge meant something different. And for me, being a first-gen black student at Cal, um, means a lot. It's a testament of perseverance, resilience, but also hard work. One of the main barriers to education equity is Proposition 209. Proposition 209 is a law passed in 1996 to prohibit public institutions from taking race, sex, or ethnicity into consideration for college admissions. Prop 209 was used to ban affirmative action which was a policy that colleges used to increase educational opportunities for minority groups that are commonly and have been historically discriminated against. After the passing of Prop 209 in 1996, Berkeley had a significant decrease of admitted students of color in the following year. Thus, Bridges was formed. Current fall 2019 enrollment data at UC Berkeley shows that underrepresented minorities make up only 18% and first generation students make up only 28% of this campus. Our communities tend to fall through the cracks because they are not accounted for in the data. For example, the Berkeley administration prides themselves in that Cal is a diverse campus, and yet there is less than 3% Filipinx students less than 1.5% black students, less than 0.2% native students, 
and less than 0.1% Pacific Islander students in Berkeley's undergraduate class. Basic needs data also show that our communities are the most vulnerable to being affected by food insecurity and homelessness. First-generation, low-income, underrepresented students of color also have the lowest retention and graduation rates on campus. I am sharing these realities with you because I want you to know that you are not alone in this process. When I first came to Cal, I didn't have any strong support navigating college life. My family didn't have any experience with applying to college in the U.S., let alone any idea of what modern college culture is like. Uh, some of those challenges have definitely been trying to get um, tapped in with different resources to help me not only with uh, succeeding here at Cal, but also taking advantage of post-grad opportunities. Just being really shy, not confident in myself, not looking for help or resources that are that were available to me. Uh, some of these challenges might look like not knowing when or how to ask for help, or for me, Sometimes just doubting myself or feeling like an imposter, even in higher education. Personal um, experiences led to feelings of imposter syndrome during my time at UC Berkeley. I've gone years, not days, thinking that I don't belong on this campus. Um, a challenge I faced at Cal was being a transfer student and finding community and support. Um, transfer loneliness is really a thing and it's really hard to find your crew when everyone there, well, most people there, have been there since freshman year. Bridges was there for me during my low points, and now I'm here to share Bridges with you. Bridges communities are comprised of students who are most vulnerable to experiencing these educational inequities and historical struggles. This is why Bridges sees you, because we understand and we're here to grow with you. Bridges is a student-run, student-led, student-funded, and student-initiated multicultural resource center that aims to recruit and retain newly admitted first-year, transfer, re-entry, and continuing low-income first-generation and underrepresented students of color in higher education. Bridges is a coalition comprised of seven affiliated recruitment and retention centers, or short RRCs, which are the Black Recruitment and Retention Center, BRRC, the Indigenous and Native Coalition Recruitment and Retention Center, Inc., the Middle Eastern and North African Recruitment and Retention Center, MENA, the Mixed at Berkeley Recruitment and Retention Center, MRRC, the Pilipinex Academic Student Services, PASS, the Raices Recruitment and Retention Center, or Raices, and the Asian Pacific Islander Recruitment and Retention Center, REACH. In addition, Bridges also functions as an individual center that aims to build multicultural community among the seven RRCs. As the only student-initiated organization that is the sole driving force in recruiting and retaining low-income, first-generation, and underrepresented students of color at UC Berkeley, Bridges student leaders are dedicated to supporting you in your higher education journey from start to finish. Bridges recruitment focus programs serves K-12 grade and community college students with the goal of providing them with a trajectory into higher education pathways, not just UC Berkeley. While Bridges Retention Focus programs serves current students of color at Cal, with the goal of supporting their holistic success all the way to their graduation year. Some examples of Bridges' largest recruitment programs are Senior and Transfer Weekend, which are weekend-long events that invite newly admitted students of color to travel to Cal for free to experience student life by staying with current undergraduate students. These prospective Cal students get to participate in multicultural programs, workshops, and cultural events that give them the opportunity to engage and interact with other prospective students and establish essential social networks before entering UC Berkeley. 
One of the reasons why I got involved with Bridges and BRC has its roots in senior weekend. I remember being a newly admitted student and not knowing where to go. And from that program, I was able to really find myself and a community before I even got here as a student. So I joined Bridges and MRC uh, because of senior weekend actually, because uh, it was the first time that I was ever in a space that was dedicated for uh, mixed identifying folks. And I felt at home immediately because I always had to choose um, parts of my identity. And this time I was accepted for my totality. I went to transfer weekend for Cal that Bridges supports and Menarch supports. And I found a sense of community and I found that these people are my people. So that's why I decided to join Bridges. And I we also offer outreaches during outreach, Bridges student leaders travel to schools across California in hopes to demystify higher education by providing informative presentations and workshops on a variety of subjects such as pathways to higher education, academic and financial resources, the college application process, and more. Other recruitment programs include person of color campus tours, Q&A panels with student leaders of color, and a variety of mentorship programs. Being retained um, is really important. You go through a lot of changes when you transition to higher education. For example, um, that was the first time I had my own room. The first time I had to worry about like making my own food and reminding myself to eat because you get so busy in the day-to-day -day and in classes and in work that it's super easy to forget things like that. Three examples of Bridges largest retention resources are Study Jams, which is a week-long event held during the review week right before finals to provide students with study space, free lunch and dinner, and free academic resources. For example, testing books and scantrons. The second is Boost Day, a mid-semesterly event that provides different wellness activities that help students de-stress, reground, and decompress. Besides programs, we also have free wellness and sexual health product stations accessible throughout the year at all recruitment and retention centers. Some of the products we offer include condoms, pregnancy tests, cough drops, eye drops, emergency, tissue packs, and gum. Every RRC community in Bridges practices retention in different ways. Explore how retention looks like in your community within our coalition. Whenever we have study jams or retention events, self-care, de-stress, especially when it's exam season or final season, having a center that cares, that's student-ran, student-led, and student-initiated um, is a little closer to home because you know that they're going through the same things that you are. They care and they want to create uh, a mutual kind of sense of care within the community. This is a really great way to start to get plugged in and you never know, you might end up finding some of your best friends like I have or finding a passion in student-rooted leadership. Bridges in a lot of ways has not only empowered me to be a community leader, but to also be a leader in society to help other people of color not only achieve their goals, but pursue higher education. I grew as a leader, I grew as a student a person, as a professional too because there were resources that were offered to me that really helped um, with my confidence and leadership skills. This community helped me to better navigate and succeed in the various academic settings I was placed and in the leadership roles I took in the Bridges and Native community on campus. I found a community where everyone is willing to help you succeed in higher education, no matter the issue. Bridges, because they are the most transparent folks you ever meet, folks who celebrate your highs and lows with you, folks who are willing to motivate you and push you and pick you back up. But one of the most powerful things to me that represents is a community of resilience. Despite the odds, we are here and we are constantly holding the administration accountable to support all its Bridges because I really do believe that higher education is a right and that everyone should have access to it. I also joined because I wanted to really be able to uplift and to advocate for not only myself, but all underrepresented communities. Bridges has impacted me in the way that I viewed college by showing me the importance of lifting as you climb. College is an individualized experience, but it is a community effort to get to our goals. And Bridges has shown me that as we progress, um, and as we go through academia and college, we must be going back to our communities and serving our communities. Bridges is about multicultural communities coming together to be united in advocating for the needs of our communities. Be a part of our community and mission. 
explore how you can build bridges to close gaps in educational inequities that our communities face. You can find out how to get involved with Bridges and how to contact us online and through our social media channels. Visit us on our website at bridges.berkeley.edu. We are Bridges Multicultural Resource Center on Facebook, and you can follow us at BridgesMRC on Instagram. I am Bridges. How about you?